out as a back to school event in Cheshire, but things quickly spun out of control. News 12 Connecticut's John Craven following events for us. John, things got very ugly today. Yeah, Della, we'll take a look at this dramatic video here. These protesters literally surrounded Governor Lamont's SUV as security whisked him away. The school mass debate is hitting a boiling point. Anti-mask protesters literally inches from Governor Lamont this afternoon. Even children were shouting as security hustled Lamont away from a back-to-school event in Cheshire. Good afternoon, everyone. The event was a Q&A about what school will look like this fall. Lamont defended requiring masks in school and making teachers get vaccinated. I see what's going on in Georgia. I see what's going on in Florida. I see what's going on in Texas. I see a lot of kids being sent home in quarantine, not having, that, um, not having a chance to be in the classroom. <laughs> But frustrated parents holding anti-mask signs quickly shouted down the meeting. With, you can, yeah, okay. Moments earlier, the state education commissioner said mask rules could continue past September 30th. What happens after the 30th, I think, um, depends on what happens with our cases in the state of Connecticut. Uh, we are seeing lots of COVID around the country. You might want to back up, Liz. You Don't you up. dare get in my you face. Know. Protesting parents saying they're angry with what they see as arbitrary rules. This is what happens, and more people, and more people will be standing up against people like you. Well, Governor Lamont's office responding this afternoon. A spokesman saying these bullying tactics will not change what we all know to be true and agreed upon by both the scientific and academic communities. Masks work and they help to keep our community safe, especially young children who are not yet eligible to be vaccinated. Now, of course, this is not the first time we've seen tempers flare over school masks. We've seen it play out at local school board meetings, too, but obviously never a scene quite like this today. In the newsroom, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut.